about a hundred years ago, we have undergone a conceptual shock. And without understanding that shock, you are not going to understand the <coughs> consequences of the complexity shock either, and why we, do, uh, why we need a uh, reform in education and, in a way, science and philosophy itself. The first version of general, first mathematically correct version of general relativity comes from Hilbert and not from Einstein, but it was different times. Einstein actually, Hilbert actually explicitly says in the paper, you know, I took all the bits and pieces from Dr. Einstein and of course the credit uh, regarding the physical picture is entirely due to him. Now I can assure you today this would never happen right? in I, I absolutely hate what is happening now in contemporary science, but uh, we might come back to something like uh, eight Nobel Prize winners were pacing up and down. You know, talking to each other. And he's, isn't it marvelous? You know, look at all these intellectual giants. And, and then one of the guys says, Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But what else we could have done with all that money? <laughs> <laughs> you can go to the other theorem across, you know, a, a number of steps, right? It might be very long, but it can get. What Goethe showed that there are these islands of truth and you cannot, just cannot get from this continent to the island by the establishment, established methods of mathematical proof, okay? Codera demonstrandum. That was really absolutely shocking. What can you do? <laughs> you can step out of the box. This is one thing. You can construct a richer system, right? Okay? And in the richer system, that you add an extra dimensions, basically, okay, if there is a dimension in it, then of course you can reach that, mm -hmm. but in the richer system, there will be a gain <laughs> of <laughs> islands, okay, so that is an infinite hierarchy of, you know, unprovability. Parochial altruism means that you are very cooperative and nice within your local group, and occasionally you fight as hell with other groups. But the people in other groups are as smart as you, and I am afraid that probably, as you see it, was a major driving force of uh, evolution, leading to the kind of intelligence that we have today. Because you had to compete with others that were as smart as you.